What's going on guys? Hey, how are you doing? Today I'm going to do a brief rundown of all the gear that I'm using currently right now. Um, as you can see, I've actually switched things up. I put my 16 inch floor tom here into position of the high rack tom and then my 12 inch rack tom right here as the floor tom. Uh, I'm doing that just to experiment and see what else I can kind of get creative with. Um, just by switching these two, every field that I've ever written that starts with the high tom up here is now going to start with the floor tom. So it naturally just changes the pattern up just a bit. So I'll start over here. So I use 64 audio um, as my IEMs, uh, A4s to be exact. Um, I just got these little Minel symbol deafeners from Benny Greb. They're pretty, uh, pretty awesome. They actually do an insane job about deafening the symbols. Um, so it's pretty cool. So I am using a Samson Seal 1 condenser mic for my vocals um whether that be for podcasting or doing a talk back uh for my online drumming platform i'm hearing some stuff for uh my new online platform next exercise so let me i'm using a uh 16 inch classic uh light heartbeat hi-hats with a little minor ching ring here um up here i'm using a 20 inch heartbeat custom light crash with a little uh bacon sizzler from minel as well um <clears throat> so for the ride here i'm using a classic light heartbeat 24 inch uh ride and honestly guys these are these three symbols or four symbols rather if you count the hi-hats as two symbols but this symbol setup is literally all i own right now i don't have any other um, symbols in my um reservoir so I'm using uh, Vader Fusion. Here we go. I use Vader Fusion sticks. I really actually like the sugar maples. Um, I just uh, had to do a quick emergency pickup, so I haven't had time to get, actually get the ones. Uh, sugar maple is a little harder to find in store, so I have to order those. Um, so for my drum kit, all in all, I'm using a Gretsch Canalina maple kit. Um, it's been with me for a while, and it has an amazing sound. Gives it kind of a a log wig sound actually in a weird way um but it also kind of just gives it a really powerful sound these this bass drum is powerful so this is a 16 inch this is a 22 inch bass drum and then like i said a 12 inch tom i'm using an audix d6 if i can get in here for you guys i'm using an audix d6 well here we go audix d6 as the tom mic i have another audix d6 in the bass drum with the kick port and then, then this here, guys, is a Solomon uh, Low Freak Sub Kick. Um, it really just brings out the extra low end on uh, my kit and the bass drum. And then I'm using a D2 for the tom. And then I have an I5 for the snare drum. And I have another I5 um, that I will use for the bottom snare um, shortly. I'm using currently right now the Evans G2s. I'm sorry, not Evans G2s. Evans UV2s. Um, they're, they're the newest head out right now. They are absolutely amazing. They're durable. They have a really, really nice low end. So I'm using a 16 inch UV2 on the bass drum, I mean on the floor tom. I have a black Onyx um, resonant head on the bass drum. I'm using an e, uh, UV2 here on the 12 inch tom. And then I'm using a Evans G Mad. Sorry, it's a little dark. An Evans G Mad um, bass drum head. I'm using an Iron Cobra bass drum pedal with a sweet low boy beater uh, with just a wood tip um, for the for the batter head there. Um, as for my snare drums, um, right now I actually have this little 12 inch uh, little lug wig um, accent CS snare drum on here. It gives it a really cool crack. Um, I also own the standard Gretsch Catalina Maple. It's a 14 by five and a half. Um, this came with the kit. And then my most recent purchase is this Tama SLP um, G Maple um, 13 by seven, excuse me, snare drum. I'm also using a, the, uh, we, are, we are focused right. That's their Instagram handle. I'm also using um, a Focusrite, Scarlet Focusrite Gen 3. Um, as my um, interface, guys, it's awesome with the air with the air quality that it has on there. It really brings out its uh, cool sound there. Um, 
And I'm using a few different pads right now. Oops, tripping over my own cords here. So I am using, I have a few different pads. I have this leather with a wood hoop, genuine percussion pad. This is also a genuine percussion pad. We're calling it the, um, we're calling it the stealth. I have a lot of these actually because they're prototypes. I also have a genuine percussion cork pad. Um, and then at the bottom here, I have an Evans Real Fill pad. I'm sure we've all had that. Um, I do use a DW little practice kit here um, as well. So, guys, this is the rundown of what I'm currently using um, for my kit for live and in the studio here in my office in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be here. See you later.